What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how you can optimize your Shopify store for SEO to get that free traffic from Google. Before we start today's video, I want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. We're going to do Shopify SEOs in two parts. The first part concerns your product titles and descriptions and tags. And the second part is going to do things through an app and it's going to help with alt tags for your images and stuff like that. And the reason why we're focusing on products here is because most e-commerce stores sell products. They don't sell their brand image. When customers search for that, it usually shows up because it's a unique name. But when they're searching for products, you want to rank for certain keywords like men's t-shirts, maybe it's black Nike sweater. You want to rank for these keywords, and so you have to optimize for those keywords. And where you're going to find those keywords is you can use a keyword planning tool. There's a ton out there. Google has one in the Google Ads account. There's some paid ones as well. Today, I'm just going to show you a free tool that I quite like to use. It's really easy, and it's free, and you don't need an account. It's called Ubersuggest. The way you use Ubersuggest is you just want to type in your keyword here. So let's say I want to rank for a men's sweater. So I'm going to search that up. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you the search volume for that keyword. And as well as different queries you can be searching for as well. And you generally want to try to rank for things which key, with good keyword volume. So if you want to rank for a men's black sweater, you'd want to try to hit those keywords with the high search results. Or you might want to go for a long tail. That's a different strategy where you want to focus on something very specific. Like maybe it's Nike black sweater, this mentions this size, this colorway, this model. But it depends on what you're going to go for with your store. So here we have men's sweater. Amazing keyword volume. This is actually quite on the high side. It's quite a general term. So you might want to look at something more specific. So you'd want to view all these keyword ideas and decide what you want to rank for. Let's say I want to rank for men's sweater turtleneck. So I would go to my Shopify store and I'd go to my products and I would make sure I included that in the title. I'm just going to change the title of this one here just for speed sake. But let's go. How do I? That is not the one I was looking for. Men's sweater turtleneck. Let's just type that in. Sweater turtleneck. So I'd want to keep that in my title just so Google can match that keyword to that search. I also might want to include it here in the tags as well. So men's sweater turtle neck. I just realized I missed the neck here. So that's how you add titles to your product. And I also might want to include that as well in my product description just to give Google an even better sense of what my product is selling and how it matches to specific keywords. So the second thing you want to do along with optimizing your title, your tags, and your description is you would want to get a SEO app from the Shopify App Store. The one I have downloaded here is called SEO Optimizer. That's a free plan, and this free plan allows you to add alt tags to all your images. Alt tags are the captions, essentially, for your images, and Google will use that to help know what's in that image, so it can help show search results. So if someone searched men's sweater in the images tab, it would help show up your image, because your image matches with its alt tag to what the customer was searching. It's quite easy to set up. It gives you a tutorial here, set a template, and so it's going to automatically pull the product title and the shop name from your store. Then you press continue, then all you have to do is press sync images, and it's going to sync all your images. And so that's the free plan there. It has a paid plan as well. It's going to unlock a lot more features such as fixing broken links and doing things like that. And if you're going to upgrade and you're really serious about SEO, you might want to upgrade to one of those apps as well. Other apps out there are SEO Manager. They're very easy to use and it makes it a lot easier to help you rank for certain keywords and certain products on Google, this helps you get a ton of free traffic. It's amazing when you can figure it out. So I would encourage you to spend the time to invest in SEO for your Shopify store. This concludes the video on basic optimization for SEO for beginners for Shopify in 2020. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, just click the button below. Thank you for watching.